Hello, my name is Norman Fang from Norman's Oki Nursery, and when you come to today's episode, and the, today is about something new, and I want to share this with you because this is the end of January, early February, and we have Michael Cooper with in flower, and this is a very different season, uh, and I did something different. Uh, I, if you never grow Michael Cooperwood, uh, Michael Cooperwood is the entry label for Sandalina Hybrid. And Michael Cooperwood is, this is our NF255, is a sibling, uh, two sibling uh, of two very best Michael Cooperwood crossed together. So when you have two uh, non sibling together crossed to each other, it's called sibling. If I cross one of the species parent, Sandalina, obviously not in flower, we feather pennensis, and that is called primary hybrid between, between two species. All right, now, this, I have done Michael Cooper with before, and I believe that was kind of summertime. So this is actually continue what I have done before. Uh, I have a really good experience with Michael Cooper with when we got the FCC gold medal. And I, I share with you guys about, you can search a keyword Michael Cooperwood and you can bring up the, the previous one. That one had six flowers and a bread record and a bigger flower. And that at that time I was drenched, I was using, when they just spiking, I drenched we make a bride, okay? Everybody know make a bride. If you don't have, run and get one. Uh, a one ounce per gallon of water, okay? It's all legal, uh, even though we have extra help. I, I, the number, the six, uh, all the Michael, Michael Cooper with the previous award, even the previous award of the FCC only have five flower. Michael, I, I was on the team to get the first FCC Michael Cooperwood about 15 years ago. And I still remember that one. It's only four flowers. And it was the first one fan, first spoon seeding uh, from Orchizone. And it was very impressive. So I always, at the time, I was really inter uh, interested in anything we participated in Sandoriana. Okay, now. This is the footage of Papyopedia Sandinoriana. This is about a five years old seeding from sea, from out of flask. Okay, so this is why if anybody offer you Papyopedia Sandinoriana, if the least span is shorter than, this is almost a foot, right? A foot? More than a foot. more than a foot. It's not booming size. This is a booming size, and it's about five to seven years old. Okay, so, uh, so this is why I, uh, on the multi-floor lady supper, you know, yes, they more money, but seven years of the growers' life, okay? Unless you are only 17, you can you can grow some in baby, but if you're gonna baby, print gonna cost you $25, the, ch the chances are they might die. Most of the people, if they, if they are, uh, I would not buy any Sandoriana right off internet, of the eBay or, I got sued for that. <laughs> uh, 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 any other social media, uh, uh, the platform, for example, because you never know if that seller is going to be still in business. And I know I have seen a lot of what I call scam. Okay, anybody when they're this small, they can be anything. Okay, and I have twenty years ago, I have a customer uh, walk in, so excited, so they say, "Oh, no, 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 no. I, I found uh, somebody was selling puffy painting." San Riana for $75, okay, this size. And I said, oh, good, let me see. And that's the first time I, I heard about so-called eBay was selling orchid. Then I look at the picture and I said, well, there's good news and bad news. I said, well, the good news is uh, they got San Riana. The bad news is the, the picture is not San Riana, it's San Sukin. So the seller don't even have the true don't even know what they are selling. They were use the, using the Papyopinus sensutin, which is a very common uh, fatal pendensis with Rothschild and Rhiannon. So he, wrong picture, selling wrong item. Okay, so this is our, our 
uh, so this is my first exposure about so-called eBay orchid. If the seller, you cannot even identify them, where they're located, the address, physical address, and even the phone number, walk away. Okay, so this is Sandriana. The Sandriana should be, the foliage is flat, like this. And this is Philippinensis. Okay, so uh, Michael Cooper was, which is like a cross of two species. The foliage is between the fragments of Sandriana and Philippinensis. Okay, so anybody have asked me, how can you send in your flowers so early? Well, guess what? This is also the batch that I did the experiment. Uh, instead of just drenching them, we make a dry when they are spiking. The whole summer in the production, I drench them, we make a dry. And also once a month, and only a small teaspoon per gallon, just water them down. So, and we measure with the leaf, okay? So that way they not only pick up from the leaf, because a lot of times, I have a theory that a lot of times the multi-floral, the leaf is so, almost like uh, succulent, very thick. I, I think it's more harder for them to penetrate or they may not absorb 100%, okay? So it's benefit from the drench, okay? so. Here is the comparison. This is a regular Mac uh, Michael Cooper wood, just growing, like the usual business. And this is the Mac uh, using the Mega Dry drench. Okay, they all going to flower this year. But the one that we this one here, I, I'm not only can I only, I will have the spike coming from this middle here. But I also have a very active two shoe coming up. Okay, so isn't it wonderful? It's a much fuller plant. So in in the active growing season, uh, in the summertime, uh, most of the multi floral papillarium. If you really want to benefit from a, a nicer plant or uh, maybe possible a, a world winning plant. Uh, Give it a try, it will not hurt, uh, but you only use a small, a teaspoon, or uh, 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 one ounce per gallon of water, and then just drench them, and I'm not sure with the foliage, okay? So the one that been benefit from the uh, the drench is all here. Uh, I saw several one of them already. Uh, this actually, I, we found out that uh, they flower two months earlier, fast mature, and they also have this beautiful growth, new growth coming up. Okay. I think Jamie saw a couple of them already to her Hollywood client. Look at this. They are so vigorous. Okay. And so it's this one here. Uh, the difference between these two here is the light quality. Okay, I got in a lot, I was pushing them a lot of light because I was pushing, I was putting on the top of the, my shell. So I think the, uh, I, this is not a color I like to see on the micro copper wood. It only has a kind of yellowish green. So this is when you know it's not getting too much sun. Uh, this is actually what I like to see, this green. And notice that this shining here, I did not wax them or can spread it. This is the natural wax that the plant produced from the optimum uh, fertilizer and also make it dry. And this wax is very important because I, I don't spray fungicide here. So this is the wax that will give you the natural resistance to any fungus infection or bacterial infection on this. And again, we know, we, we do spray pesticide here but our nursery haven't been sprayed any fungicide for the last 15 years. We, you know, we save a lot of money. It's better for, the, for my employees' uh, health, myself, and better for the orchid. So when they are leaving from the nursery here to your nurse, to your house, you don't have to worry about how to apply a lot of chemical because I know there's a lot of nursery. They are just rely on chemical. And a lot of this pesticide, well not pesticide, but the fungicide, 
that we have today is just suppressing the, the, the pathogen. Once they get out of the, the nursery, bingo, they come up. And in the right place and right condition, they will have the disease come up. So I just want to share this with you on this, uh, this wonderful uh, experiment and research I've done with Mac, uh, Michael Cooper with. And so if you have multi-floor, lady stripper, you never haven't flowered for many, many years, okay, get, make a try, okay? First of all, the forty application will be work, work wonderful for it. Even better, start through the drench method. Drench, it will be a nice booster, almost like a Red Bull for them, okay? And it will not hurt to try. And it's always, one thing about growing orchid, I've been growing orchid since I was six, is always try something experiment. If it, uh, uh, if it's, if it's nothing been, uh, if it work for you, don't change. But if you have orchid that haven't been flowered for many years, especially on the multi floor, per first of all, maybe light is not enough. A perky plant like this, this is what I call the perfect example of happy multi floor. The leaf is not limp. Even the bottom leaf is still very green. The perky, the waxy. And this is actually is the one perfect, I will not have to repot them. This is only in the four inch pot in the bark. And I, I've been growing this for about almost four years here. We, if you never use the bark mix, try the Norman's orchid mix. Uh, we use the best quality of Oregon, uh, Douglas Fir Park. Uh, and we only, you, uh, we only have them harvest in the middle of summer when Oregon is dry. So a good quality bark, a good drench, once a month will keep the bark for last for a long time. All right, so look at look at how happy they are. There's no tip burn, okay. You, they are what they eat, okay. If you have a fertilizer, it's really not, not good. Uh, there's no, you, my fertilizer here. I sometimes uh, use car salesman. Anyway, uh, this, is, this is the trick. This is the trick. Uh, very refined, there's no heavy metal. So give this a try. So this is the time, uh, this is February. March is coming, uh, spring is coming. So this you should start, make sure, please make sure. Mark it on your calendar. Feed them every other week with the normal ultimate orchid food and the mega thrive. And you're gonna, they're gonna reward you with many, many wonderful stuff coming up. And one thing about Michael Cooper wood, uh, when they first open, they're gonna be like this. This is actually been flowered for about four weeks longer. So make sure you raise the micro cooper wood because they have Sandriana in the background. Make sure you raise it so the petal, like the Sandriana, once the petal touch the surface, it will stop growing because this is half Sandriana. So hand them up. As the flower age, they're going to start curving. Okay. So if you're looking for a very good strength of micro cooper wood, we still have the NF255, and this is a really good sibling uh, cross that we have. This cross has been giving really nice uh, curving effect on this, okay? Thank you very much for this podcast. And on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you have friends who, who like orchid, share the, the channel with them, okay? Thank you very much, and happy orchid growing.